Jason's up. What's up, Jason? He says, any recommendations for a service to get YouTube views from US-based visitors? Maybe like 5,000 views? Yeah, AdWords, Jason, AdWords. In fact, my installment to the Mastermind newsletter for March, um, which we just sent yesterday to get start getting published for to go out to Mastermind members is, is exactly about what you're asking is how to, um, well, I'm doing, I, I, I talked about using uh, AdWords for ranking ranking videos in Google search for local videos in Google search using AdWords, right? Because you can you can buy views directly from Google, which is 100% valid. In fact, they encourage it. They tell you not to buy views unless it's from them, right? <laughs> so you go to AdWords and set up an AdWords for video campaign and you can set your geographic targeting and you can even set your topic targeting or uh, audience targeting, which is really powerful. There's an under audience or interest targeting. There's what's called in market audiences. And um, if you can find your specific category within in market audiences, that works really well because what an in market audience means is somebody has been recently actively searching, for, uh, searching the web for that type of content. And so in-market audiences are great for this kind of stuff. Now, if you can't find an in-market audience, it's okay because you can still do topic targeting. And topic targeting just means that they have a history of being interested in a particular topic. So like oh, historic, they have a like there's a there's a history, right? There's historical data where they've they've shown an interest in a particular topic over time. So that's still good, but an in-market audience is a hell of a lot sharper. It's because it's it, in other words, it's more it's more acute. They, 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 they're, they're in the market at that point because they're actively engaged in searching for content around that particular topic, product, service, whatever. Does that make sense? And then you can target your geographic targeting. You can set that very simply as well. And so you can just select all of US or you can even narrow it down to a city or a radius, all of that. And again, it's covered 100%. I, I even added a video to the Mastermind newsletter this month, guys. Um, but all that's being covered in the Mastermind and in the newsletter. So Come join us, Jason. That's what I'm getting at. But yeah, guys, anytime somebody says you can't buy views for YouTube anymore, they they don't understand that that's what AdWords is for, right? And it works crazy. You can rank videos in Google search without even doing SEO anymore, just setting up AdWords um, and getting and setting up the targeting like I just mentioned, guys. And I, again, it's been step-by-step -step walkthrough, working procedure and everything in the, next, the upcoming Mastermind newsletter. That's uh, that's pretty cool. If I may uh, add something to that, Bradley, it's funny that you mentioned that. So they should say that buying views outside of YouTube is again terms of terms of service. Right. You know, it's like buying likes outside of Facebook is against the their terms of service. Like that, that's the exact same. That the exact that's the exact same scenario that happens with Facebook likes. Like if you wanna if you wanna buy likes, I don't know, two thousand likes for a for a Facebook page. You can do it on Facebook, literally, and you can get the exact same quality of likes that you can get outside of Facebook. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of funny that these guys are like behaving like that, or not that they're behaving like that, but they're saying this is against our terms of service, while there can actually you can actually make that happen within the ads network of that platform itself. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I don't know why why you're surprised. Google has always said that that they have editorial privilege, and so they can do right. anything they want with the ranking. So they're telling right. us, fuck, they're telling us, fuck you. You can't do what we say you can't do, but we can do whatever we want, even if we say you can't do it or we can't do it because we don't give a shit. You're going to use it anyway. You're going to pay us. Yeah. And by the I way, I love that position, man. I love to, I, I, I love that position. That's position of fuck you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we can do whatever the fuck you want. We, we want grab that link, drop it on the page, man. It's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> That's ultimate pofu. Pofu, yeah, yeah pofu. Hashtag pofu. Uh, last thing about that, Jason, is what's great about it, guys, is like I, I always set up my campaign starting at twenty-five cents per view, but that's just to get the campaign started, and then, like, literally within a matter of two or three days, um, you'll you'll get well. Well, usually within two days, you're going to have an average cost per view. It will show you, and it's usually much much less than that less than 25 cents. Obviously it's going to depend on the market, but most of the local stuff that I do, it's like under 20, it's like usually my average cost per view for this type of a campaign is around the three to six cents range. So think about that. It's that's insane. You could set a dollar a day as your targeting option, uh, or excuse me, your, your daily ad, your, your, your budget, your ad spend budget, 
dollar a day. That's thirty dollars a month, right? And then you could end up with dozens of views per day. And at which point, like if it's for a local video, like I said, I don't I don't want it to look spammy. The amount of views that are coming in. So that's when I go in and start fine tuning my daily ads budget. You know, my daily budget amount as well as what my maximum cost per view bit is. And I can also manipulate the targeting options a bit to kind of reduce the views, to, to get it to a level that seems more reason, like a volume of views that's more reasonable, right? Um, but it, it, it's just, it's crazy what you can do. You can really fine tune a campaign for YouTube views. Um, it's, it's great, guys. It's absolutely one of the best things in the world. Like it just makes, it makes ranking videos so much easier. Like it used to be something that I just did as a trick up my sleeve when I needed it. But now I'm almost... Almost every time I want to rank a video now, one of the first things I do is go set an AdWords campaign for the video. And it's, you know, if you set your targeting right, you can actually get some valid traffic that could convert from that too, from the ads themselves. But I usually set up the ads with the intent to get them to rank and search, if that makes sense, to get the videos to rank and search. And it's just, it's great because it's very inexpensive and it's easy to set up. And then Google does all the work for you. So.